Any other FDA-approved uh, examples? You mentioned just one at the end for breast. Anything right. else in the U.S.? It's not the, for, for uterine fibroid. For uterine, uterine fibroid. It's, it's the first and only, the uterus, right, it's the first and only one approved by the FDA so far. We are now allowed to submit another one for pain palliation of bone metastasis. So this hopefully will be available next year. So Kath commercial use. Catherine talked to us earlier about this whole idea that surgery was going to change and she didn't know how and which way. This is certainly a candidate. Non-invasive surgery would be out of the box, um, no cutting at all. No cutting so, at all. And Quinn showed us this fluorescence where we could, we could dye tissues and actually see at the level. Right. Could we combine this with that fluorescence? I could right. see that guidance might give the MRI even a more detailed level feedback. Right. Actually, we had that discussion yesterday on the oh, beach. Good. All right. Yeah, on the yeah. beach. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, during uh, dinner. Um, once it, it is MR enabled and, and used as a contrast agent, then you can see everything you see on the MR can be targeted by the precision of focused ultrasound. So, so Quinn lights it up and you basically vaporize it with sound. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. All we have to do is get it through the FDA. Or yes. Amazing. So how small can that beam be? Can we go to the micron level? Can we go to the submicron level? How small eventually well, and how small now? Whatever you see, you, you can target. The size depends on the frequency of the ultrasound, and the, with current frequency, like in the brain, a spot is like one millimeter. And this is about the resolution of the MR. But so supposing I light up 10 million cancer cells, 50 million okay. cancer cells, that's a submicron size group of cells. Right. If so, I can light them up, I can vaporize them? So this is, this is coming in the future. The, the, there is a technology called ultrasound-mediated targeted drug delivery or vectors or molecules. So if you make those molecules ultrasound sensitive, then wherever they are attached, they will We actually send in the suicide fish, okay? Exactly. Okay, we send a in the suicide fish, really small suicide a fish. fish. And then fish. we send in the nanofish and then we vaporize them from the outside. Yeah. Yoav, that was inspirational. Thank you so Thank much. You.